All right, guys, today I'm gonna to take you through an estate sale tool haul. Um, I spent 75 bucks and I got a lot of stuff in this pile here. And what was really cool is I just redid my back um, shop area and there were some great items I was able to pick up that's gonna help me with that. Um, some really good organization stuff, which I'll share you that, with you there, as well as some items I picked up for resale because I need to make a couple bucks too. I just can't keep spending. And there is a couple of really nice surprises. One for sure that I want to share with you that was worth way more than I expected. Uh, so let's get into it. All right, so I think I got the perfect spot for this peg clip. What do you think? Right over here, put all extra tools, belts. Um, really like it. Might just paint it to make it match. Let's see where these other guys could fit. All right, then these other little guys, I'm thinking I could just plug them in here. Or they go like this, actually in between and whatnot. Um, that way I have some tools back here. I do plan on setting up one toolbox back here as well, but stuff I need every day while I'm on the bench or if I bring tools back here while I'm working on a project, I have a place to put them so they don't get lost and tossed around on the bench. So it's just like meant to be. I'm working back here and I'm looking for different stuff and boom, you know, I come across items that I'm gonna need and it saves a lot of money. Let's keep digging it. All right, let's get these next two items out of the way. This is the Delta bench grinder uh picked this up it was like i said it was part of the 75 dollars this was the first thing i noticed that i wanted and the guy said ah, i really want to get 20 bucks for that and i said you know what it's a little bit more than i want to spend it's missing the flange it's missing the nut um it's definitely got some age to it um new i know to go for 60 70 80 bucks i don't know and it's got all the stuff with it so 20 bucks was a fair price but i did notice this one is definitely um an older one uh, it was made in Taiwan. I believe they're now made in China. It's definitely well made. I plugged it in. Um, it worked while I was there. Sounds good. Bearings are good. Nice and smooth. Uh, if you guys know where to get a left-handed threaded nut for that, that's relatively inexpensive. I don't know. Maybe Home Depot I could find it with the washers. I'm assuming I could use just regular washers. But if uh, the flange washers and whatnot, please let me know in the comments. So... He wanted 20 bucks and I, you know, he wouldn't budge on it. And I, he said, you know what, go get more stuff and I will take care of you. But I got, you know, it's a 20 for that. So that was bundled into the deal, like I said, for the 75. And then the next motor I got is this old Westinghouse, one third horsepower. And this does not work. I plugged it in today when I got home and pop, the breaker blew. Um, so I'm going to have to rewire it. I just like these old motors. I just refinished that drill press and... Um, I like restoring them and rebuilding them. So that was a fun project. Got it thrown in today. Who knows? Maybe I'll need the parts for it. Maybe I'll need the motor for it. Um, you can always use it as a grinding wheel once it gets up and running. Has the nice bracket on it. So that was included as well. Now let's get into that bag that's back there. If you charged me by the pound, I really would have been in bad shape. <laughs> All right. Let's keep so like going. I said, it just seemed that this estate sale was just perfect for the timing of projects and different things I'm working on. It, it was just awesome. So as you guys know, if you just saw my most recent video, I just refinished the drill press. And look at this, drill press drum sanding kit. So in here came the different size sanding drums that go into the drill press. Um, but there was also a lot of other stuff included in there. I don't think, I'll show you the price on this and where it came from. It came with all these other things in here. Look at these little, oak um, plugs for when you have to do um, you know a screw and you want to set it in and sand it I know those are expensive I've had to buy those look how many of them that are in there and then all of these little sanding things that could go on a Dremel tool I don't think was part of this original kit so I threw that into the box I thought it was really old and vintage by looking at it but when I got home there's a dark basement I was digging through look at this US General so how funny is that this is probably when a lot of their stuff was mail order, I'm thinking maybe. Oh, it's made in the USA. How about that? Just notice that. Made in the USA, US General. So I was disappointed when I saw US General on there. And it was made in the USA drum sanding kit. So perfect timing for that. And then look at this bad boy. This is a flexible work light. You clamp it on and... You know, I could either use it back here on the bench, but I'm really thinking for the, the drill press I just refinished, the 1950 did not have a light in it. This is really cool. And it really, you know, looks like wood clamps and I think that would just go great with it. So I can't beat that. I was gonna buy one of those anyway. That's like I was coming across stuff and it was just perfect. Uh, next item in here. 
is a nice Craftsman magnetic uh, made in the USA socket set. So for the sake of time, let me lay some of this stuff out and then I can move through it quick. All right, got everything laid out here to save some time. Like I mentioned, everything in this estate sale was like I was meant to, to find it. So if you remember the other day, I found that really nice knife um, at an estate sale and it didn't have a sheath. And look at this, made in Germany. And I learned a little bit about that knife. It's a hunting knife and it just fits absolutely perfect in there. I started to clean this knife up a little bit. It's a Schrade and Walden. I just hit it on the fiber wheel, just took some of the heavy rust off. It still needs obviously a lot of cleaning and polish. I was planning on using some uh, finer sandpaper little by little. Um, the, uh, the leather cleaned up really nice on here. So I just used some household leather, clean it up my wife uses on the couch. Um, if you guys know anything that's you know better to clean this with or to, to condition it with, please let me know. Same thing with this sheath. I really want to get this looking sharp. Um, so if you got any tips or techniques to clean this sheath, let me know. But it was like it was meant to be in here. Look at that. Look how it clips. I mean, you would have thought that this knife was sitting in here the whole time. Even the wear marks on this is from, you know, in the same spot. You would have thought that this sheath was made for this. It's a really cool piece of leather out of Germany and looking to clean that up. So I'll share that. You remember I just did the drill press. Um, I needed a chain to link the, the, the chuck key so I don't lose it. Yeah, nice piece of cord, I was able to grab that. Um, a lot of things just came to me um, for projects. Some hole saw cutters um, for the drill press. Look at this nice little, I got tons of extra bits laying around, a little organizer, nothing crazy, but just uh, felt like it was the right time. And here, look at these Yankee, um, no, these aren't the Yankee screwdrivers. These are Stanley push drills, and these are awesome. Um, 357 mag that introduced me to these and I came across the one of these not too long ago and he told me Tom whenever you buy one of these give them a shake and if there's something in the handle it, it's worth something without the without the bits they're really not worth the hill of beans and I learned the hard way the last time there was none in it and he was actually kind enough to send me a few bits so thanks again 357 mag that for that and that's my affinity for these and um this one is loaded and the bits are in great shape this one just has a couple of bits but these are worth some money with the bits you know they're going for 40 bucks or so on ebay and i was thinking of maybe selling one or two um and keeping one of the better ones just because of um i you know i was looking to pick some things here to make some money um and these are Yankee screwdrivers. That's what this one is. And I don't know. I'm hoping it's worth some money. I'll probably keep it. But it had an $8 price tag on it from when this guy bought it at a yard sale or a tool um, convention or, you know, meat or something like that. Probably, who knows, 20 years ago. Um, and this one has a really nice handle. This is the Yankee Stanley. I love that. Love that color that Stanley used to use. This, is, I believe, is a screwdriver, but they got a drill bit in it, so... I don't know, I have to do some more homework on these. They're just more for collecting. And if they're worth something, who knows, maybe I'll flip them. <laughs> they don't have that much of an affinity to them. Love old branding whenever I could grab something. There is actually a couple of X-Acto blades in there. Um, whenever I could grab Craftsman wrenches that are you know, basically for free when you're just throwing them into a bundle, I'll grab them, USA made ones, especially. Um, the certain sizes I just need more of. I have tons of like 3 8 um, through half inch because all the kits came with that the socket sets and whatnot they're they're plentiful when you start getting into like the 11 16 sizes and these were in such nice shape i had to grab them um, 9 16 5 8 there's just not as many of them out there nice husky usa made line wrench um, all usa made vice grips and the reason i purchased these was probably to flip them too because i have tons of them and these clean up really nice and i could probably put you know these two in a bundle and get thirty dollars for it on ebay all right let's take a look at the back here um what else do i got here okay so you see back here these are the these go in a drill and they're paint strippers these are not cheap um and what's cool about these these i saw the market these are 3m brand uh which makes these you know better quality than like the cheap ones at Harbor Freight or Home Depot and whatnot. Um, a couple other miscellaneous items, a nice old level. Looks like this 
one's blown out, but I just like the, I really like the branding and the, the design and it's really art deco type look. How cool is this? You plug this into an outlet. Um, I could do it right back here in the shop. If I needed a little bit more light, you put a bulb in it, boom, you got light. Whenever I could grab cords, outlets, you know, when you're doing a project and you need a cord or you need a plug, boom, this is this is saving you tons of money if you have to buy this stuff. It's a little hook for more organization in the garage. Um, thanks to Scout Crafter, I have an affinity for tape measures now. I, know I always did a little bit, but uh, he makes them even more interesting. So when I could find a nice old tape measure, that'll clean up just beautifully look how nice the shape is inside of it too um that's more of just a display piece a couple of miscellaneous sockets back here nothing crazy but if i could grab a 36 i grab them uh made in the usa uh v series you know you could get 25 bucks for this on ebay this is totally something that i bought to flip people uh buy these a lot the hondas and whatnot use a lot of that a lot of the foreign size cars so picked it up to flip and Let's see what's up. All right, two of the best items. Save the best for last. Although I do got a couple of little minor things to show you after this, but how about this? The Walton Company Tap Extractor, Hartford, Connecticut. Nice case. This is going to clean up beautifully. This I will not flip. This will go into the collection. Oh, come on. There she is. Um, still got the original package. And this will clean up nice. Uh, it tells you what the size um, this set includes. And this is the number three set. And you can see the sizes on there for the number three set. And these are in great shape. They'll clean up well. I'm assuming these got some good value to them too. Uh, if you guys know anything about these and want to share, let me know. And then here is what I'm finding out to be the best pick of them all. And not too long ago, Scout Crafter did a video on pencils. And who would ever think pencils? But it made me start thinking about pencils and I, uh, and, I, 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 and what pencils I own and number two pencils and whatnot. And I was at this uh, uh, sale and they had pencils. And I said, you know what? I know there's some value in pencils and there's people that really appreciate pencils. They look like they're vintage, nice stuff. And hey, if they're good, maybe I'll keep For some reason my video got cut off there but here they are here's the pencils there they are 249 was the price on them um, they're all new old stock this one has a little bit of scribble or something on it but they're all complete um, one dozen <laughs> let's see Dixon pencils are certified to contain no known toxic materials in sufficient quantities to be injurious to human body. So try getting that through California these days. <laughs> They'll have to have a million pieces of warning on this, I'm sure. Um, look at this. 167 Wayne Street, Jersey City, New Jersey. Um, I did see, oh, the actual, this was sold at a Mineola, New York. And these are actually film markers and I googled them to see what they were worth. And they're actually listing these for $80 to $90 a pack right now. And there's very few of them out there. Um, I don't know. So I went to see what they were selling for. Because I always check the sold. You can't always go what people are listing things for. You want to see what they're selling for. Um, and, you know, there was some that sold for $30, $40. Not this exact ones, though. And they didn't look um as many in a package so if, even if i could get 50 bucks a pop for these you know i'm sitting on 200 bucks here that would be just fantastic but that was the find of the day all right let's take a couple um other peeks at a few other items and we'll wrap it up i forgot to show you this item before this is a lewis blade cutter um obviously you know nothing to it that's fancy or anything like that but it does have the cover and I just really liked the design on it. Um, feels nice in the hand. It was in great shape. Um, yeah, these are always fun to inlay some paint on. All right, a couple more items. All right, don't want to forget this item for Dano. This is a Herbrand half inch drive, and it's got this grip on it. So as you're driving something, how cool is that? How to pick that up? That is definitely a unique item. 
Hope you like that one, Dano. So look at this piece of wood. It is like a beautiful bench top. And it's almost the exact size to fit on the top of this toolbox. And I was going to buy some wood to do it. And once again, this sale just had everything that I needed. Who knows what a bench top would cost to fit on that. I literally have to rip about, I don't know, an inch off of it. And it'll fit on the top of that like a glove. And then um, that'll wheel right under my workbench. That's my goal. And then the top bench I'll put somewhere else. But I want that to be able to slide right under there and have a nice workbench on it. And then just some other wood there. Um, I got some more pieces of nice wood here that they included. I already moved them. But just really finished um, pieces, as you can see there. Um, and they're long. They're about, um, some of them go back over two feet. And then look at this nice piece of wood I got it's already stained it's a it's eight inches wide so it's a two by ten um, and I plan on just cutting sections of that to make a base um, for many of my tools like I got this big vise back there it needs to go on a base so I could clamp it while I'm using it um, so that was already finished ready to go all right guys this is everything 75 bucks um, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and share anything um, about these items in the comment section. Have a great day.